Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net, and today we're talking about something a little bit different. It is the Maker Fair, specifically the North Carolina Maker Fair that I attended this past weekend, as we are based in North Carolina. For those who do not know, the Maker Fair is, as the name implies, all about making things. It is a DIY festival, and the show is sort of headlined by Adam Savage of Mythbusters fame in the Bay Area in California. That's where one of the bigger or the biggest Maker Fair events is held. And uh, there are other fairs as well. They they exist in New York, they exist in Detroit, in Austin, and now in North Carolina. And the event is all centered around DIY projects and workshops. So a lot of it is educational or uh, or tutorial like in nature so they at the the North Carolina one I went to they taught how to do electronic soldering and they taught things like lock picking there were exhibitors there who weren't actually selling anything they just had booth space to show off the cool stuff they made which often featured things like LED light panels and uh, and PCBs and stuff like that and electronics and robotics so lots of cool stuff um, this sort of think of this as a bit of a review of the event if there's a maker fair near you a lot of this information will apply because it is a franchised event and it, it is owned by one organization so they are all effectively uh, supplied in some capacity by the overhead group but the North Carolina one is growing pretty substantially last year uh, it was it was a lot smaller. They had a smaller space this year. They expanded to the exhibition center at the fairgrounds, and they doubled, or at, rather, they surpassed. Excuse me, their attendance capacity just in pre-sales alone over last year. So just in pre-sales for this year, they surpassed last year's entire attendance, from what I understand. So it is growing quite a bit. Uh, featured this year, like I said, there were two workshops in the form of lock picking and soldering. There were also uh, there was a little robotics hockey arena where it is, think of it like battle bots except with hockey, and that was predominantly uh, there for for kids and for entertainment. So the event in terms of demographic, there are a lot of kids present. So if you've got kids, then it's probably a great type of event to take them to to teach them about doing things and making stuff. Uh, but that said it's it's really for everyone there's there are a lot of experts there you can speak to in the realms of 3d printing or of animatronics or robotics or software and development and engineering so if you are a professional or a hobbyist or an enthusiast in any of those areas of of the industry this type of event is a great place to go to learn from the experts there are a lot of colleges present at least at the north carolina one nc state is a major sponsor of that and they are of course one of the the better engineering schools in the country and one of the best on the east coast so a pretty pretty cool event um there were some issues we had with registration they were a, a little bit abrasive with press registration i imagine that's because they are small enough that they don't quite uh, don't quite know the etiquette for registering press just yet, but I, I, I believe they will grow out of that as the event kind of matures. Uh, it's definitely a lot easier for us to get into things like CES, which are more than 12 times the size, so that kind of gives you perspective um, of what it takes to have a good press registration group. But beyond that, normal attendance tickets are like 10 bucks. If you are within a few hours driving range, it's well worth going and checking it out if you've got stuff to show off it's probably worth going to check out and like I said a lot of this applies to the maker fairs in other states as well so generally I personally if I were attending this as just a normal attendee not covering it I would, I would probably uh, drive a couple hours I'd maybe go about two hours three hours to see it and there's probably one to two hours of content to look at at this North Carolina maker fair It'd be a little bit more if you did the workshops, like the soldering workshop or lock picking workshop. Uh, soldering is, is something I already know for the website, of course, so not something I needed to do, but pretty cool that they were teaching it and a great opportunity for people who want to learn. So that is all I have to say about the Maker Fair this year. Check out the link in the description below for the full article, and I will see you all next time. Peace.